Brian Seelman, and along with uh, Ruth Richardson and Zarina Mohammed, we conducted an audit at the Whittington Hospital in London. We audited the time to x-ray in neck of femur fractures. The background of our project, uh, fractured neck of femur, is an important topic. 750,000 hip fractures occur in the UK each year. It carries with it to 10% mortality at one month, and this is reduced by performing surgery earlier, which also reduces the number of post-operative complications and the length of stay. The NICE recommendation is that surgery should be undertaken within 36 hours of admission of the patient. So the College of Emergency um, have come up with their own clinical standards around this topic, one of which is 90% of hip fractures should be x-rayed within 60 minutes of arrival. So we asked the question, what proportion of patients arriving at the Whittington Emergency Department with a neck of femur fracture received their x-ray within 60 minutes? Our audit was a two-stage retrospective audit, examining the time taken for x-ray from arrival. We identified the patients who had a neck of femur fracture from coding, and we confirmed by their imaging that they actually had a neck of femur fracture. We then got their patient arrival time from their CAS card and the x-ray time from the timestamp on their x-ray. We have an electronic x-ray requesting system, so the request time was logged on there, and we use Microsoft Excel to calculate the differences between these times. We did two cycles of audit with an intervention in between. The first cycle was between July and December 2013, and we identified initially 101 records. We cleaned the data, so removed those who didn't have a fractured neck of femur, and the, uh, there were three patients who were children. We then ended up with 83 records to analyse. After our intervention, we completed another audit cycle. This was between February and June 2014. So again, we cleaned 27 records and ended up with 25 records to analyse. So the results from the first audit cycle showed that 22.8% of patients had an X-ray within one hour of arrival. 45% of patients, patients had an X-ray within 75 minutes of arrival. So they fell just short of the standard for one hour. This gave us the idea that if we did an effective intervention that these patients might move into the one-hour group. Unfortunately, 24% of patients waited over two hours for their x-ray, and there were three patients who waited over four hours for their x-ray. The average time to x-ray was an hour and 41 minutes. So in conclusion, the department fell significantly below the uh, College of Emergency standard for one hour. So we thought about how we would potentially improve our system. We did a brainstorm as to what it means for a patient to arrive at A&E with a potential fractured hip and all the small steps that need to be completed before they get to their definitive procedure. We realised that this was a complex system. We analysed a previous failed attempt to prioritise neck of femur fracture patients. There was previously a um, crash call style hip fracture call that went out to orthopaedic surgeons, to physiotherapists, to, radi to the radiographer and to the orthogeriatricians whenever a patient had a suspected neck of femur fracture. We also had a specialist neck of femur fracture nurse. Unfortunately, when this system failed, the funding was lost for the neck of femur fracture nurse. So we thought about what we could do differently and what area of the pathway we could target that, was, that would be more efficient and effective. So we chose to target patient triage. We designed the rapid hip assessment tool, which was a pro forma um, that the triage nurse would uh, give to the assessing doctor when a patient was suspected to have a fractured neck of femur. So we distributed this in the majors department of A&E um, and it meant that these patients were prioritised, flagged up early and the x-ray was ordered upon arrival. We introduced this to the senior house officers in A&E, to the nurses and to the managers. So after this was introduced we did a second cycle of audit. A total of 25 patients were audited and we think this is because of the time of year. Uh, being summertime there were less patients uh, falling over. We had a 36% uh, hit rate of patients having their x-ray within that golden hour um, and there was a range of 23 minutes to 3 hours and 43 minutes for time to x-ray from arrival. The average x-ray time stayed the same at 1 hour and 41 minutes. So in conclusion we did improve time to receiving x-ray within 60 minutes. We had an improvement of 
13%, but we still fell far short of the College of Emergency Medicine clinical standard. So we thought about why we fell short of this standard and looked close, more closely at our data. Within the one hour and 41 minutes it took for the patient to arrive to get their x-ray, 57 of those minutes uh, were spent waiting for the x-ray to actually happen. The patient then took 42 minutes after their x-ray showing a fractured neck of femur to be referred to the orthopaedic team. So we looked more closely at this and found that the average time between requesting the x-ray and getting the x-ray done was 57 minutes. The range of this was 17 minutes to 2 hours and 27 minutes. There was no correlation between the time of day and the wait for x-ray. So we initiated discussions between the managers of the emergency department and radiology, thinking about ways that we could prioritise patients waiting for hip x-rays. We thought about what made our audit successful or what lessons we learnt from doing this audit. Focusing, we focused on one very specific standard of a greater problem of fracture neck of femur, which is just one of the things that a patient can present with in the emergency department. Even analysing this one specific standard was complex, and we realised that you really have to focus in on one specific thing to change, and it, that will open up um, a whole web of problems, so keep it simple. We identified our stakeholders early and involved managers, triage nurses in with our decision making and the design of the pro forma. This was important because we rotate every few months, but the managers and nurses are the people who will carry on our change and ensure that the audit cycle continues. We realised how complex the ecosystem of the NHS is and that a single change is probably not enough to produce a dramatic effect, but it's a series of small changes that will produce um, overall improvement in quality of care. So thank you. Thank you.